Welcome to the Vista 3 by Chroma Q video training series. In this video, we will learn how to store stage looks using the store part function. The store part function provides the option to store certain parts of a stage look and from which source. Store part is also the traditional lighting console store operation in that, by default, it only stores events coming from the programmer and events programmed within queues will track forwards into subsequent queues. Let's program a stage look. We will put the 10 beams in cyan up in the air and the 10 spots in a yellow gobo on the singer. The store part button is found in the function key toolbar or F5 on a console or keyboard. The store part function is also used if the command line is storing queues. The left hand section of the store part window shows a list of all available target queue lists to store into, with some search filters to help find intended queue lists. Queue lists can be selected by left clicking or by single pressing any console playback select button. When doing so, the middle section will change to show all queues currently stored within the selected list. The default store operation will be to store a new queue at the end of the list. To create a brand new queue list, press the new button or single press an empty console playback button. Here we are creating queue 1. The queue label and number can be edited at the top of the screen. Let's call this queue Yellow Singer. The queue list label is entered here. We can call this list Store Part. The right hand side of the window defines which fixtures and features to store. The default content is all fixtures that have information in the programmer. You can also see that all features are selected by default. If we were to press Store right now, we would store the stage state that we are currently seeing. Choosing selected fixtures will only store events for the currently selected fixtures, which in this example is only the 10 yellow spots. Individual features can also be deselected and selected by clicking on the feature mask buttons. If it is highlighted, it is going to be stored. Let's deselect Gobo and click OK to store the queue. Upon doing so, we can see that the queue has been recorded to the console playback that we selected. Unlike the store all function, Store part does not clear the programmer for you, as you may wish to continue to work with these events. As we have finished programming this look, we can press clear. Next, we will push up the fader and press the play button. By default, store part does not automatically set the autoplay and release cue list property. When playing the cue, we see that we have recorded the 10 spots in yellow on the singer without the gobo or the cyan beams. Let's release the queue list and create a second stage look. For the next queue, we will position the beams crossed in magenta. Let's store this as Q2 using store part. Vista will automatically want to add this new queue to the end of the default queue list. We will label the queue and check the contents we would like to store. Note that the current stage output state only consists of 10 cross magenta beams. Let's press OK to store the queue and then clear the programmer. Playing back Q1 results in our 10 yellow spots in our singer. Pressing play on Q2 adds in the 10 magenta beams. The resulting stage state is 20 fixtures, even though that wasn't the look of the stage state when storing Q2. The reason for this is that the 10 spots in Q1 are tracking forwards into Q2. Further explanation on tracking can be found in our tracking video. Next, let's turn on the profiles and stage risers to 100%. Pressing store part for the third time will want to create this look as queue number three. Queues can also be updated using the store part function by clicking the queue you would like to update. We will select queue one in this example. The default queue update function is to merge the new content into the existing queue, but you can also completely replace it with the current content only. We will merge this time. An additional queue update tool is called queue only. Ticking this box ensures that any updates being made to this queue only affect this queue only, and the updates will not track forwards into subsequent queues. Further explanation on queue only editing can be found in our tracking video. Blocking and super blocking options will also be explained in a dedicated video. Let's click OK to update Q1 and take a look at the results. Don't forget that you will need to clear your programmer first. You may also need to press Release All. Q1 plays back as we have just updated. When 2Q plays, you will notice that the profiles and stage rises are automatically removed because of the Q only update function. 
Next, we will build a new stage look and create a new cue list in this example. We will change the color of the spots and beams to cyan and magenta and turn on the stage risers and profiles. The current stage looks contains events from multiple sources. The spots and beams color is coming from the programmer, but all other features on these fixtures are coming from the previously stored and playing cue list. Therefore, if you would also like to store these features, you need to select All Output as the source. Cue timings can be specified within the Store Part windows towards the top right. You can type a numeric number or select a timing from the drop down list. Custom timings can also be defined. Within this window, individual feature timings and delays can be adjusted numerically or configured graphically by adjusting the timing bars on the right. Delays are achieved by clicking and dragging events. Event times can be shortened or lengthened by dragging the cyan square control points. In this example, all fixtures would fade up before changing position and continuing to change color. To learn more about Vista or to download the free demo software, please visit vistabychromaq.com.